I hope you're having a fantastic week so far. We are going to do some llamas. I thought that would be super cute. Actually, it was Lucas's idea and I thought it was an amazing idea. Anyway, we are drawing a llama on its way to help pack somebody up to Machu Picchu because they're used in Peru, the country of Peru, as well as alpacas yep. um, to help with that sort of thing. And alpacas and llamas are kind of the same. They're really similar. Um, in fact, they're all related to the camel. Did you know that? I just learned that this morning. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead. Um, Lucas and I are putting our paper in. Horizontal. The, yeah, the landscape formation. So go ahead, grab a pencil and let's go. Okay, the first part we're gonna do is the head. It's gonna be right about here. And we're gonna do this first line here. And it's gonna be a soft curve line like this. Okay, just like that. And I'll hold it up higher. It's super simple, right? Okay, and then we're gonna do the snout. So this comes down a little bit here, that line we just did. And so we're gonna come out and bring it down like that. Then we want to go ahead and from that ending line, we're going to curve it back. It's going to be a little bit longer, about like that, okay? Super simple. Okay, let's get an ear in there. It's going to be a triangle, but I, I bow it out a little bit and I curve it out, comes up and down. And then we want to get this uh, ear that's on the other side and it's slightly shorter and a little thinner, just like that. And then we do, we come to the top here and we curve down, just like that. There we go. I know it looks a little funky now, but don't worry, it's going to be fine. Um, like this part here is a little too pointed, but that's okay. So let's get a smile. Um, it's just a curve. We come right about down to there and then a nostril and it's just an open oval right here. And our llama has, um, gosh, is it called a bridle? I don't know. I this, don't know. this little part here that helps, it helps steer when you want to steer your llama. And it's two curved lines that come down like this. And then I did a closed eye. So I just did a curve and then some eyelashes. You can do whatever eye you want. Cute, already cute. Okay, so this, we're gonna do the top of the neck and it curves down to about here. Now I get a little bit of fur going here, so when I do that, I just do a zigzag line that points down. And if you want to just do a straight line down and then do that fur later, that's fine. I'm just gonna do a straight line down just so you can see better. Okay, cute, Lucas. Thank you. Okay, so let's get the front of this neck here. It goes straight down and then curves slightly. So I start, here's that bridle, and I start a little bit inside from that. And I'm going to go down and then curve, just like that. Kind of low to the ground. Uh, well, that's okay. It started out really good. You could probably just, it could curve right about there, Lucas, so you can erase that a little bit. I've got a better eraser if you want. Okay, so let's get this first leg in. Yeah, I'll wait for Lucas there, okay? Mm -hmm. um, and then it's basically just a long line that curves back up, okay? So I come out just a little bit to make it look like it has a, a, a foot. And then, but they're very simple. I um, mean, it's a little wider here. And then let's do that leg on the other side. Do the same thing. Comes up and comes back. Okay. So now for the stomach, it's going to be a curve. Just like that. Now our back leg curves from inside what looks like the stomach, it curves like this, 
And then we do the same little bit we did here. So it's going to curve down and then back up. It comes in a little bit there. Now the other side, we want to kind of mimic that and it's going to be a little bit shorter, just like that. Ta-da! Okay. Okay. So for me, it's easier um, to do all the pack stuff before I do the back, the bottom of my llama. It's up to you how you do it, but I'm gonna start with the pack. So I'm gonna start with this curved line and it just comes down like this. And then you mimic that curved line up a couple times, however many times you want, just little stripes. I also am going to do, um, I have a little suitcase. So I, uh, Top off that upside down rainbow that I did for the rug that's on my llama and I do a curve just like this and then a straight line. I do straps, two curved lines here, two curved lines here, and then a curve, very slight curved line in the middle and then a rectangle for what would be at the latch. Okay, so there's the pack mm -hmm. on the top. Um, we're going to do a long uh, sideways, uh, tr uh, well this, I was thinking this was the tent rolled up, oh. yeah, in a little pack, and you start with an, a very thin oval, then you do a line on the top, just like that, and then you curve on the other side, okay, and then the bed roll is on the top, and it oh. looks, it's, yeah, and it's just a circle, with it's a concentric circle basically so you have a, it looks like a little bullseye so that's what i have for that so now we can do the back of our cute little llama so i start here where my uh the rug is and i come down in a curve and then hook it up for the little tail just like that okay and then all you have to do is bring that back leg up and you're pretty much done, okay? Um, I added for the, the bridle, that's what I'm gonna call it, guys. Um, I curved to uh, from the top line of that bridle and also the bottom line. And then a lot of the llamas have fun bells on them so let's do that we're gonna do some more curves you can just like maybe if you lose them you can hear them yeah that's a, that's a good idea so i and put little bells and so those are just little circles all along here do 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 just like that i put little tassels um on the bottom of my the rug so it's just lines that come out from the bottom and then they basically look like little triangles coming off. I'll hold this up higher so you can see in a second. And then fringe, which are just straight little lines coming from the bottom of your triangle, just like that. Okay, I'm holding it up higher. Let's see? You can decorate your cute little llama however you want. Um, you could put bows, whatever. Um, I went ahead because they're climbing, so I did a, a horizon line that is slanted like this, so it looks like they're going up, okay? Because they're helping you climb Machu Picchu, right? So That's Machu Picchu, right. yeah, is, well, yeah. And then there's like a, a site at the top that is was built by the the people who lived in Peru a long time ago, oh. and it's uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. I've never been there, but I've seen pictures. I went ahead and did um, some of the mountains in the background. Okay, how I'm drawing this is I'm just doing, it, it looks like a triangle, right? If you just look at a basic shape, but I'm making it look a little more ragged on the top by creating bumps, doing some slight curved lines, and then uh, kind of, zigzag line right here. It kind of reminds me like and I did those another little heart mountain. monitors in the hospital. Oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it does look like that, doesn't it? Cool. Okay, so that's our cute little llama. Go ahead and um, color it in because 
Um, a lot of the designs that they have in Peru are super colorful and beautiful. Mm -hmm. So have fun with this, guys. Bye, fifth graders. Miss you. Bye.